question is because there were two articles. One was published by the, and I could kick myself for not having them, but I, for, I had, I thought I was, had a laptop with me. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure you probably, you know the back, you know about them, Dr. Peeper, and if you could, uh, remember any more than I did from reading them, there was basically a 2009 and a 2011 a uh, peer review article which published data conclusively proving that saturated fat intake improved mortality and morbidity in patients with heart failure. And this is one of the uh, first direct references to seeing that saturated fats, oh, and it was also in reference improved mortality and morbidity compared to PUFA, which is the polyunsaturates. So this was another direct um, piece of evidence to show that the scientific community to the scientific community at least are uh, getting this point across and hopefully the medical community will start taking notice of it as time goes on. Um, yeah, that, the 2011 study was by Gal Val and others, T.F. Gal Val. Mm -hmm. And did you have anything more to say than I remembered from the article without having it in front of me about the, uh, about the um, uh, morbidity and mortality improvements? Um, just that a high... Intake of saturated fat improves survival, yeah. while a high intake of polyunsaturated <laughs> fat <laughs> impairs yeah, survival. Okay. And how, and how do the triglycerides affect the level of triglycerides in your blood? How does this affect the? Um, uh, there, according to um, Horwich and others, the 2009 study, uh, there have been several studies that show that a higher level of lipoproteins. Uh, total cholesterol, uh, low density lipoprotein, uh, and high density and triglycerides are all associated with improved survival in heart failure patients. Right.